What is up Division 2 Agents? This is Gamer for Life back with another Division 2 build video. In today's video, I wanted to put a build around the new exotic LMG, the Iron Lung. We're gonna get into the exact talent in a minute, but it's no secret that we can put enemies on fire using this weapon. As you already know, I did put a video out with the new Exuro gear set which is centered around the fire turret. You would think that would be the perfect build to use this LMG, but honestly the main reason I did not use an iron lung on that build is because the whole idea of that build is to keep our fire turret up with skilled on our chest and also the BTSU gloves just in case skilled does not activate. And with the huge range on the turret keeping everything on fire, it just seemed pointless to use the LMG there since everyone was always on fire anyway. So I wanted to put it on a build where it can shine in a brighter way. And I think I accomplished that with this build. Now let me first say, and this has nothing to do with all the controversy over builds in the community. This just has to do with some crazy comments I've personally been getting lately. And that is that these builds are only templates for you to tweak how you want to play the game. Sometimes builds I put out are not for everyone, and that's fine. What I like to do on my channel is to showcase all kinds of different build setups and I know not every build is going to have the absolute most damage or the absolute best survivability, but the idea behind being in year 5 of this game is to find ways to keep the game fresh and not playing in one specific way all the time. And finding different ways to play the game is how I personally do that. But again, no matter what build I put out, I always encourage the community to put your own spin on it. And if you do, let us know how you run it in the comments. And what that does is give others reading the comments different ideas of how to run that specific build as well. We are all just here to help each other out to be better at the game and I appreciate the awesome community that we have made here at this channel. With all of that said, let's take a look at this thing. Alright, so you can see it is in an Eclipse build, but set up in a different way. I know to be a little different in my last Eclipse build, it was more of a running gun type of build with a shield and a Scorpio with a lot of blues. This time we went the offensive route with four reds on this build and of course with the talent that the backpack gives us, I mean we are just absolutely shredding these enemies. So let's go ahead and take a look at our gear set. Bonuses, two piece plus 15% status effects, three piece plus 15% skill haste, 30% hazard protection, and then the four piece indirect transmission your status effects now spread on kill to all enemies within 10 meters and refresh 50% of the duration. This one is road max weapon damage, status effects a skill haste mod, and then the talent with the backpack symptom aggravator amplifies all damage you deal to status affected targets by 30%. That's basically perfect last cannon without the bad stuff, right? In every single piece on this build, expertise is at 11%. Gloves, max weapon damage, status effects, knee pads, weapon damage, status effects, and the holster, weapon damage, status effects. And then we do have our chest piece, road with a skill tier. Also, max skill damage, status effects with a max skill haste mod. And the talent is trauma. Just two more status effects that we're putting on our enemies applies blind to an enemy hit in the head, cooldown 30 seconds, and applies a bleed to an enemy hit in the chest, cooldown also 30 seconds. And then with all of these status effects that we're putting on all of our enemies, we went ahead with the Vial Mask. Comes with a skill tier, rolled with max status effects, has a protection with a max skill haste mod, and the talent Toxic Delivery. Status effects 
also apply a damage over time debuff for 10 seconds. Total damage dealt is equal to 50% of your concussion grenade damage and increased by your status effect attributes. And of course, we have status effects on everything. So that is the gear pieces. We can look at the skills. Now the one thing I do have is burn sticky. So another way to put our enemies on fire of course, the cooldown is 23.3 seconds, but that doesn't matter because, again, like I said, we're going to be putting enemies on fire with our gun as well. So this is at, well, it's at, let me change my gun because <laughs> it's technically at tier 3. Okay, tier 3 plus 30% burn damage, 60% burn duration, and 45% skill haste. 10% burn damage for our expertise. And it does have a 7.5% duration and 7.4% damage mod. Then also we can ensnare our enemies using the Riot Foam. Skill tier 3, plus 3 ammo, plus 150% ensnare health, 30% ensnare duration, and 15% radius. 12% ensnare health for the expertise throw. And the mods plus 10% ensnare duration and plus 1 ammo. And then the star of the show is the Iron Long. I do have the expertise at 12%, road with max LMG damage, damage to target out of cover, and damage to armor with the talent Ardent. Shooting heats up the weapon, filling up heat meter. The meter is equivalent to 50% of the weapon's standard magazine size. When the meter is full, round shot by the weapon ignite enemies. When not shooting, the meter depletes over time. Reloading or swapping the weapon fully depletes the meter. And our other two guns, you know, we do have this Everlasting Gaze. If we need to want to switch to it and use it, it does have perfect perpetuation. Headshots grant plus 50% status effect damage and duration to the next status effect you apply. Cooldown is 16 seconds. So we can take a look at the specialization that we are using. It's a technician, giving us that extra skill tier, plus 12% damage to drones, skill proxies, and robotics. Armor kit also applies to all freely skill proxies within 10 meters. Our Tiffers are have. Party members within 5 meters of your deployed and undisrupted skills are immune to shock and disruption. Gain 15% bonus armor while aiming the skill. That comes in handy. Plus 50% pulse resistance. And then we have this on plus 10% skill damage. And as always, just make sure the main gun that you are using is equipped on your specialization so you're getting that extra 15% increased damage. So yeah, that is the build, my friends. Again, just another way to run the Eclipse and the damage that your LMG is dealing out is just beautiful. The gameplay that I have on this is me taking out a level four control point. Whenever I showcase builds, it will always be on a heroic map. Not because I'm trying to look cool, but because, and I know that most people play on challenging. I showcase it on heroic just so you can see that you can easily get through through this stuff on heroic maps, whether it's level four control points, you know, heroic missions or whatever. And if I can get through it on heroic easily, you know you will be able to get through it on your challenging extremely easy. While you can get through this, being solo, I would definitely say this could be a really good build to play with a group as well. Even, you know, going into Legendary, you're still dealing out some great damage, but you're putting all of these status effects on the enemy. You're blinding the enemy, bleeding them, put them on, putting them on fire, stopping them in their tracks with the riot foam. I mean, all of this is just beautiful for your team. But again, for my solo players out there, if you want to, you know, try this build out, you can absolutely get through content solo with this build. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys tweak it to, you know, playing a different play style. Maybe you want a little more survivability, turn a couple of those reds into blues. However you want to do it, we would love to hear how you are running it. So that's going to do it for this video, my friends. We do have the gameplay coming up, so stay tuned for that. And as always, my YouTube family, take it easy.
en route. Thank you. 